I'm here with Matt Vince of the Rochester Nighthawks and uh, and Vino. First and foremost, are you enjoying the uh, the build up to the holiday season? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, you know, as a teacher, I get two weeks off. Uh, you know, for Christmas. So, uh, you know, a lot of that's going to be spent, uh, you know, with a little cross chicken hand, but it's always great to, you know, just kick back, relax, enjoy the holidays with their family. Uh, and, uh, you know, it usually signifies the start of a lacrosse season, so it's usually an exciting time of year. What is your favorite gift that you have got as a kid? Uh, you know, as a, as a hockey goalie growing up, uh, I remember my brother, um, you know, got me a Patrick Waugh uh, road hockey helmet, and that's uh, you know, he was, he's seven years older than me, so he uh, painted it to, to look exactly like Patrick Waugh. Uh, and, you know, that was basically his start into painting my buckets. And, you know, it was just one of those, uh, one of those presents that I, I think I wore, uh, you know, as long as I could. And I, I remember trying to even wear it during Christmas dinner, uh, but it was a little bit tough to eat the dinner. But, uh, you know, it's one of those uh, presents I'll never forget. Uh, speaking of the uh, Patrick Waugh and the Montreal Canadiens, you had an opportunity to play at the, uh, the Bell Center. Uh, on Saturday, how was that experience? Uh, you know, I'm a diehard Montreal Canadian fan, so it's uh, it's one of those experiences that uh, that I'll never forget. Uh, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. I, I've been to the Montreal Forum. I've went through the same tour uh, of of the Forum. Uh, you know, when I was a little kid uh, with my with my mom and my dad, and uh, you know, to be able to have that opportunity, uh, you know, as a lacrosse player, uh, you know, seeing the new building and. Uh, it, it's it's something that's uh, definitely a, a great memory that I'll cherish forever, and uh, kind of gave me goosebumps just walking around uh, the arena, knowing that a lot of the my idols that I looked up to played there. And uh, you know, you you spoke about it. Lacrosse season is upon us here. We pretty much have two two practices, uh, maybe a third, uh, before we open January fifth. It's us uh, in Washington that open January fifth. Um, we're out in Everett. Um, how does it feel to be, you know, one of the two teams that really kind of has to ramp things up around the holidays to get ready to start the season? Uh, you know, I, I'm usually pretty nervous uh, before games, and uh, you know, knowing that we're the first one, uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm starting to get that jittery feeling that I usually get during the lacrosse season. Uh, uh, you know, we you, we have to go in with a with a. You know, our A game, we know a lot of uh, teams are going to be watching that game. You know, all the other teams are off, so they're going to be tuning in and, uh, you know, seeing how uh, the defending champs are performing. And, you know, we want to go out there and, uh, you know, sh show teams that we were for real last year. And, uh, you know, we're going to work hard every every play. And uh, hopefully we're going to be uh, looking to defend our title. And, you know, it starts game one. We can't uh, have, uh, have a lot of our... Uh, uh, losses uh, throughout the year. We need to get on a run early and, and hopefully play more consistent uh, team ball that we played in the playoffs.